Hey YouTube, welcome to this active recovery session. This is perfect if you're feeling those DOMS, you're maybe feeling a little bit sensitive and sore, but you wanna get it moving because you know it's gonna help you feel better. So I also have an upper body version and a lower body version of this session. So I'll leave a link to those down below. So make sure you check them out for your more targeted days. And also make sure you are subscribed and hit that like button so you never miss a free practice with me. So let's get straight into it and we're gonna start seated today. So come in to find a comfortable seat, preferably cross-legged. If you need to sit on a block or a pillow, please go ahead and grab one. And let's start by just closing our eyes and settling into our body. So take a deep breath into your belly. And a big sigh. And starting from the top of your head, scan down through the body. Notice the areas that have the strongest sensations or tension. Maybe where it feels tired. And where we maybe need to direct our focus today. Wonderful, you're welcome to keep your eyes closed. We're just gonna start with some gentle neck rolls. So dropping one ear to one shoulder and then just gently rolling the head, relaxing through the jaw, the shoulders. And then circling the opposite way. Keep it gentle, no need to force. Wonderful, and then just gently let your chin rest onto your chest for a few moments. Breathe into the back of your neck. Beautiful, and then lifting the head and let's come to a side stretcher. So bringing one hand over, one arm overhead. And just go as far as your body will allow. And then with this top hand, we're gonna cactus the arm back and then circle down and around. And just take this really slow so you can feel every little bit of the movement. So you might have some portions of the movement that feel really good and nourishing and then other areas that are a bit like, oh, that's a bit too much for me. <laughs> In which case you can brush over those. Wonderful, good. Next time that hand comes up and overhead, let it pull you through center over to the other side. And then cactus in the arm back, circle down and around. So just getting a little bit of circulation going through the shoulder. It's quite nice for the side lower back as well. Wonderful, good. Next time your hand comes up and overhead, we're gonna bring both hands high, interlace the fingers, press the palms into the ceiling and stretch out your fingers and your wrists. Beautiful, maybe take a little wriggle from side to side if that feels welcome. Awesome, good, and then releasing the hands down. From here, we're gonna bring our feet flat onto the mat. So if having them quite close kind of causes you to round, take the feet a little bit further away, turn the toes out. You can take them wider than your mat if you want. Hands grab somewhere onto that lower leg, maybe towards the ankle. And then as you inhale, use your arms to pull your chest up and through. And then as you exhale, round. Think cat, cow. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, rounding. Mm 
Wonderful. As you inhale next, find a nice tall spine and then your right hand is going to reach all the way behind. You can keep it pressing back like this. You can bring it to the mat. Some of us, you might reach around and grab for your inner thigh. Lovely deep breath. And as you exhale, release. Right hand comes back, left arm reaches back. And decide where you want it to be. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as what you did on the other side. Wonderful deep breath. And as you exhale, unravel, come to face forwards. Let's find an all fours position from here. If you are particularly sensitive, you might want to pad up through the knees, grab a blanket. Spread the fingers nice and wide, tuck the toes, and we're just going to take some free movement. So maybe it's circles, maybe it's a cat-cow, whatever you want. Just begin to feel into your body. This is really nice for the spine, but also the hips as well. And see if you can almost ride the wave of your breath. Push the breath into those areas that feel particularly in need today. Wonderful, good. When you're ready, come to a neutral all fours position. We're gonna extend the right leg back, pushing through that heel. So really pressing back through the calf. If this is too much for anyone's wrist, just come to your forearms. You can press back this way. Helps if you've got a nice grippy mat here as well because you can really go for it. Wonderful, good. Let's come back up onto the hands. Take this transition nice and slow. You're going to turn your right toes out and then slowly take that right arm up and overhead. Lovely, nice, big breath. And as you exhale, slowly take that transition back to all fours. So slowly bringing this hand down, feeling every little bit of the movement, and then bringing that right knee in. That one always makes my back click. <laughs> and then extend your left toes back. Let's start with that calf stretch, press back. Good, come back up onto the hands. Turn the left toes out, begin to turn your hips, and then the left hand floats up and over. Turn your chest open. Breathe all the way down that left side. Good, and then on your next exhalation, slowly, slowly, bring it back to all fours. So left hand comes down. Left knee in. Perfect. From here, tuck the toes. Let's find a downward facing dog, sending the sitting bones back and up. You can pedal through the feet, shake out through the head. Depending on how sensitive those hamstrings are today, maybe straightening them or maybe just keeping a little bend in those knees. Good. From here, let's walk the hands back to the feet. So we're coming to the back edge of our mat. Grab opposite elbows, nice generous bend in the knees, head is heavy, and then take a figure of eight shape with the arms and the head. Hmm. You can bend your knees like really, really loads, <laughs> particularly if those hamstrings are feeling it, so there's absolutely no shame in that. Wonderful, and then let's bring the fingertips down to the mat. We're gonna walk our hands forwards, back to downward facing dog, and then step the right foot in between the hands. Drop the back knee, untuck the toe, and come up to a low lunge from here. Nice, so make sure you feel nice and stable in that lower half, relax your arms, and then we're gonna take a little swing from side to side, just a gentle twist.
relax your wrists, relax your fingers. Lovely, good. And then from here, releasing that, let's bring the hands down to the inside of the right foot. And then sinking the hips forward any amount that feels available today. Don't force it. Wonderful, good. From here, we're gonna bring our right ankle across to our left knee and our shin is gonna be across. We're in like this figure four situation. As you inhale, leaning forwards, and as you exhale, pressing the hips back, any amount that feels good. Lovely, good. From here, keep the legs as they are. You're gonna walk your hands forwards and you're gonna drop your chest down between your arms. Maybe your chin rests on the mat, maybe it's your forehead or your head just hangs. One deep breath. Let it go. And then walking those hands back towards you. From here, let's bring the knee forwards and release. Let's do the opposite side. So spread the fingers wide, tuck the toes, downward facing dog, give those knees a little break. And then from here, let's step the left foot in between the hands, drop the knee, untuck the toe. Take your time to come up. Feel nice and stable. So if you need to be more upright than sinking forwards, Relax the arms and go for those twists. So use momentum here. I think these kind of more gentle ones that use momentum are really good for getting your circulation without too much effort. <laughs> Particularly if you are feeling tired and sensitive today. <clears throat> Awesome, bringing that to a stop, let's bring the hands to the inside of the left foot and then sinking the hips forwards any amount. Listen to your body, unclench your jaw. And also, if you feel like holding something doesn't feel like it's very helpful for you, you can always move in and out of it more of like a dynamic stretch. Wonderful, and then we're gonna bring the left ankle across to the right knee, so the shin is across. See if you can get the knees in line roughly. And then sending the hips forwards, sending the hips back. You can move the hands as well. Good. Next time you come forwards, you're going to walk your hands forwards, drop the chest down, let the head drop down, breathe into the shoulders. I know it's a lot happening. <laughs> so let gravity really help you out here. Try not to fight against gravity. Nice big breath. And then slowly walking your hands back underneath those shoulders. Let's bring that knee forwards. Come back to all fours. Tuck toes. Find your downward facing dog. Good. In your down dog, turn your toes out. And then really press back into the sitting bones and into the heels. Wonderful. Super, super slow. So you really enjoy every part. Well, you feel every part, maybe you enjoy it, maybe you don't. We're gonna bend the knees slowly, 
slowly walk our hands back and sit into a deep squat, but like a really slow transition into it. Ah, lovely, and we'll meet here. Hands can be on the floor. Awesome, let's sit our bottom down and stretch our legs out in front of us. Nice, let's take a little roll of the ankles. Good, and then we're gonna grab a hold of the right leg. So you can either grab the foot like and the knee like this, like this, you can cradle it, whatever, however you can grab it. And just take a little movement through that hip. So maybe it's side to side, it might be circles. And then we're gonna bring the sole of that foot somewhere down the inner seam of your left leg. Inhale, so sit nice and tall. And then as you exhale, begin to fold forwards. Keep this foot flex if you can. And find your edge today. Good, slowly coming back up. Let's stretch out that right leg. Bring the left leg in, grab a hold of it in whatever way kind of suits. A little bit of movement, every direction, any direction. Good, and then bring the sole of the foot somewhere down that inner seam. Take a breath to lift out of the lower back and then coming forwards. Drop the ego here, so don't feel like you really have to reach for your toes. Focus on the breath. Focus on sending it to where your body needs it. Intention is so, so important with recovery. Finding that mind-muscle connection. Lovely, one more breath. And then coming back up, stretch out the legs. This next one is gonna massage our lower back. It's my favorite thing ever. So we're gonna come onto our back and we're gonna raise the legs up. Doesn't matter if your knees are bent or your legs are straight. In fact, just a little bend I find works best. And I want you to really feel the back of your pelvis and your lower back. So have a little wriggle you could kind of feel that part of your lower back. Lovely, good. Once you've found it, it's like a triangle shape. So you can feel that side, that side, and then the kind of top of it kind of here. Circles with the knees and with the feet. Let your hips be heavy. And they can be really, really micro as well. And then change direction. Wonderful, good. And then bring it to a stop, bend your knees, take your arms into a cactus, and then you're gonna allow your knees to fall over to the right really heavily. Just let gravity take over. Sometimes you get a click, sometimes you don't. And just let it be messy. So if the knees aren't stacked, it's okay. Just really just let those legs fall to gravity. Lovely, good, bringing it back through center. And then knees drop to the opposite side. Good, 
And then with every exhale, see if we can have that intention of truly, truly relaxing our muscles, just letting our body fall into place. Beautiful, slowly bringing your knees back through center. Give yourself a hug, maybe to your chest, to your armpits. Gently rock up and down, maybe three or four times, massage your back. And your next time, come up to seated, sitting nice and tall. Let's take a really nice big breath, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands down to heart center. And you are done. Thank you so, so much for joining me for this one. I really hope it felt good. And I'll see you on the next one very soon. Bye.